Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, I had intended on going out and breaking the leaves today in the yard. However, it has been raining, so, uh, sorry, a lot. So, I won't get to do that, but I do want to work in my kitchen. Now, it's cleaned up in here, but I want to do some decluttering and um, a little bit of spring cleaning. Uh, so let me show you what I want to do so if you see on the top of my fridge I want to um, clean up on top of there now I don't have a place to put my mixer but right here because it's so big and heavy but I want to clean off the top of there and get it organized and I think I cleaned this out the other day and I think I'm going to see if I can get my cereal to all fit in there and then have that cleaned off. I want to actually pull out my refrigerator, but I'm not sure if I'm strong enough to do it. So we're going to see if I can. Okay, for some reason, I think this card, uh, memory card that I record on has gone bad. So it looks a little glitchy in some parts, um, and that's the only thing I can think of. So when I am done uh, voicing over this, I'm going to throw it away because I have a few extra uh, memory cards I use. Anyway, um, as I am cleaning my kitchen, uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you my nighttime routine. I had planned on doing a little bit more, but I'll tell you about it at the end of the video. But we kind of had a eventful Saturday. Um, I had filmed this on the Saturday, um, and I get to tell you all about it at the end. So be sure to stick around so you can hear about the goings on in our neighborhood that is becoming just crazy. Anyway, uh, I'm going to finish moving this refrigerator, and let me tell you, it was it was so hard. I could have asked Jacob to come in here and help me, um, but I have a water line hooked to the fridge, uh, that, but the ice maker part is broke. However, he wouldn't have moved it out slow, and I'm scared he would have just pulled it and ripped it out, and we would have had a mess. Anyway, I do get it pulled out. Okay, so I got it pulled out. As you can see, aggravation right there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a camera back here to film this. But it's nasty. And I'm going to try the best I can to get at an angle that I can. But I can't pull it out too far because of the water line right there. I don't want it to break, even though it doesn't work. I know you're hurt. I can't so this little kitten was so in the way today. He was just all in my business. Um, no, I did not kick him. I was just kind of trying to swat him away. But remember, it's sped up, so it looks like I'm kicking him, but I'm not. Um, but it was a mess back here. I did get it cleaned out. I had to get a scraper and scrape part of it. Um, I had sprayed it with some Lysol that I keep in a bottle, and I let it sit for a little while. But it did all come up, and it looks a lot better. Um, I know it's dark back there. I got my ring light out to kind of help, but it, it didn't do a whole lot. But it's cleaned out back there. Um, hopefully, in another six months, it that I can pull it out and it won't be as bad, but we'll see. It's clean for now. So I do want to say that um, I am not using the same rag on everything that I'm cleaning. 
Um, I do have several different rags under my sink, and I think I went through like four of them. And also, um, I'm going to do a mop in my kitchen real good. And I did change out the mop head and the mop water because it was so gross. Um, when I was done, the water was just pure black. I don't know what was spilled under here, and it really doesn't matter, but it's clean. And I did use a clean mop bucket and a clean mop head when I mopped the rest of the kitchen. Just hold on to me, yeah. I'm your lighthouse, I'm the sun against your dark clouds. I will always be your guiding So, I don't know if you can really see. No, you can't. But anyway, I got all that mess cleaned up. And I got all that white down and clean. So, let's see if I can put it back. Now, this refrigerator is on wheels. So, it's not terrible to move. And it was a lot easier to put back because I just put my foot on the counter and kind of heaved hoed it back right there and put it right back in place. No, you're strong. To get yourself together. Things still get better. You just believe it. Yeah, it's getting cold. The waves are crashing in. When the streams are getting strong, just hold just working on cleaning out this freezer I did bring my deep freeze in my living room so I am going to put all my frozen vegetables and stuff in here my little pizzas um, and I'm just going to arrange it and kind of get it a little bit more organized the way I like it so I can find everything and I put all my meats in my deep freezer kind of keep it separated and that way I'll know what I got because I will forget if I don't see it. Now I am just going to replace my mop head and make a new mop bucket. Um, and I use Lysol mopping stuff this day. Usually I have Pine Sol, but um, I use the Lysol today. But I was putting on the mop head and it's so aggravating to get on. But I do like this mop. I didn't quite have it on there right, so you'll see me in a few minutes trying to fix it again and I'm pulling all this stuff out the cat bowls the water bowl and I'm going to pull the trash can and mop over here really good
much stronger than they will ever be Don't you know that you're beautiful? Right now I'm going to take the cat's uh, water bowl and take it apart and wash it out really good. I try to do this once a week because it will get really gross really fast. One of them, I'm not sure which one, likes to put their pieces of kibble in there and let it get soggy. But I'm going to wash the filters really good and wipe it out really good. And I wash all the pieces and then I'm going to put it back together, put fresh water in it and let them enjoy. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Reel me in to get it going, open me up Sweet talking like you mean it, but you're making it so complicated I hate it Every time I get too close, you push me away Don't want to stick, telling me you don't want any obligation I'm going to take this spray bottle and uh, spray the edges along my cabinets really good It gets all the crumbs and grime and dust and all of them seem to get in the edges of them so when I mop I want to make sure I get it all up and I'm going to wipe down all my cabinets and uh, mop this floor really good and how you hate them don't call me just cause you're lonely you know you're killing me slowly no maybe I'm yours maybe I'm not Think about it way too much and every single thought is making me, making me Give me something straight from your heart All this insecurity is tearing me apart You're making me sleepless You're making me sleepless Yeah I keep losing in this game of playing pretend I don't wanna be a 4 a.m. Now I am done with my mopping and behind the refrigerator is nice and clean. So now I'm actually gonna work on cleaning the kitchen and getting all my cabinet uh, countertops wiped down. I'm suffocating just by waiting on you. So don't call me just cause you're lonely. You know you're killing me slowly. Maybe I'm not I think about it way too much And every single thought Is making me Sleepless Making me Sleepless Give me something Straight from your heart All this insecurity Is tearing me apart You're making me Sleepless You're making me Sleepless
just cause you don't be You know you're killing me slowly Nah, maybe I'm yours, maybe I'm not I think about it way too much and every single thought is making me So the last thing I'm doing is wiping down uh, my stove and these countertops back here. And you will see in just a minute me telling the story of what happened over the weekend. Um, also, don't forget that my memory card's messed up and it does glitch so my voice doesn't quite match what I'm saying. Okay, y'all, so we've had a very eventful night. I hope y'all can see me in the mirror good. And I hope you can hear me. If not, I guess I'll have to do a voiceover. But it is a Saturday night when I film cleaning my kitchen and everything. And I had planned on doing a nighttime routine so I can show you what all I put in my hair before I wash it and everything. But I was not able to do that because we had, I don't know if I can say it on YouTube, but we had an active pew 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 in our neighborhood tonight. So we had to leave. Somebody got pew pewed right down the road from us. So pack up. I'm going to wash my face with uh, this. See, see uh, Sarah V. Sorry, it's hard to say. But, I hope y'all can hear me. Um, so, we had to. My sister's got a scanner. Let me tell you, I'm going to get me one because um, our neighborhood used to be a very quiet, peaceful neighborhood. And that has changed. Um, but, we have people at the end of the road that likes to uh, have a certain lab which I don't think I can say on YouTube either but y'all y'all can get the hints they have a certain lab that they make certain drugs with but anyway um, so some kid that lives in our neighborhood thought it would be a good idea to take his MR-13 out wherever he got it from and uh, go pew pew some people. Nobody passed, which is a good thing. Well, as of yet, they haven't. And uh, anyway, so they had the roads were blocked off. Move, cat. Our roads were blocked off and they had, um, everything got blocked off after we left, um, the neighborhood. So, any, anyway, the police, um, blocked off our neighborhood because the guy they didn't know if he was on our road so they didn't know if he was at his house or where where he was they found him actually at his grandparents house fled and I don't know, whoever they call in to get him out, but I think his grandparents helped him turn himself in peaceful. 
Um, they don't know why he did what he did. Let me read. So, this just happened within a few hours, and we just got back home not long ago, because, well, I didn't want nobody, because it was a random act of pew-pew guy, and I didn't want no bullets to fly through our house, because... 20 something years ago, our house got shot at and a bullet come through the house, come through two, two walls. We had a wall that was cut a corner like this, then went through this wall, come through this wall at an angle, and then hit our front door. Our front door was open and the bullet bounced off the door. Now I'm going to use the hydroallic acid stuff. Anyway, so we've been through one bad neighborhood shooting and two years ago, I don't know if it was the same people or different people, the guy got arrested for the same thing and was let out. Well, I don't know if it was the same guy, but it was in the same part of the house or the same house area anyway I don't know if it was the same people or new people there anyway so they found him and arrested him but they had everything in our area closed off he had been hiding in woods randomly pew pewing at people and as of now since it's just happening um, they think it was a random, and they don't know why he did it, but I guess they'll question him, and we'll find out, but we are safe, and it was a very scary time. Now I'm going to use written all but we are okay we went to my daughter's house and stayed there um probably an hour or two until they called him they had uh drones and helicopters flying over the house searching for him and i have cameras around our house because of all the craziness that goes on and so if anybody came up while we were gone I would be able to see it on my phone we got those cameras about two years ago when the first pew pew happened in the neighborhood and if this doesn't happen a lot it's just the same group of people out the house I don't know kept us safe and I pray for the per uh shoulder they didn't they survived it last I heard they had survived so we just had a very scary hectic night I had planned on showing you how I wash my hair and everything at night but it is late so I'm just gonna brush my hair out I didn't do anything outside today so anyway i'm just gonna brush my hair out and uh put on my face cream anyway so hold on let me so anyway let me back this up um zoomed in oh stream close up anyway so we had a very scary hectic night tonight I, i'm thinking it's a full moon soon but anyway we're safe we're okay 
So I will plan on again filming my hair care routine. It's kind of, I'm trying to grow it out. It's really fine hair, but anyway, anyway, but I hope you enjoyed watching me work in my kitchen and um, stop. And then our weekend shenanigans in the neighborhood. We are safe. They did catch. I think they arrested two people. And y'all, the sad part is, well, the sad part is the guy got hit in the shoulder. But these kids were like 17. One of them was 17 or 19. And I'm not sure how old the other guy was. So I feel bad for the parents. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. If you hadn't already, please subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you can get notifications of when I post. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, that'll be the last of crazy weekends for a while. But summer's coming and it's getting warm, so I guess we'll see. But anyway, y'all have a blessed night and God bless.